Sometimes after setting up voice meter or equalizer APO, some of you have mentioned that you have issues with Discord. And a lot of the times this is actually related to settings within Discord, the audio settings in Discord. Sometimes it defaults to having some things on that really shouldn't be on. Or sometimes you guys go in there and you forget that you had turned things on like echo cancellation and whatnot. So this is going to be a quick video on what you should have set up for your Discord audio settings. Let's take a look. When you're on Discord, if you go to the bottom left where your name is, you can go to user settings and under app settings, you'll find voice and video. In voice and video, you'll have your input and output device. In general, as a whole, I suggest selecting the default device as your input and output device in this section. As you can see here, I have actually manually selected my microphone, uh, the input device that I want on Discord. First thing we're going to take a look at is the input sensitivity. If you turn this input sensitivity on, it will automatically determine input sensitivity. This is actually, um, in a sense, a noise gate filter. So if you turn this off, what you notice here is we have a slider. On the left side of the slider, we have a yellow side. And on the right side, we have a green. The yellow portion of this meter is actually muted audio. So if I were to turn this down, it would set my noise gate down at negative 75 decibels. I want to go ahead and just keep this at negative 62. To be honest with you, I already have a noise gate filter built in equalizer APO, so I could probably turn this all the way down and it wouldn't matter. But for your guys' sake, this is a great way to block out background noise from coming in on your microphone, specifically on Discord. What you can do is just monitor the audio of your microphone without you speaking into it and just block out everything that is popping up on the meter here generally it'll probably sit right below negative 60. keep in mind if you have to go too high your voice will be cutting in and out of the audio scrolling down to the advanced section we have a noise suppression uh, made by this company called crisp it suppresses background noise from your mic this is in beta this is similar to the rtx voice ai that came out recently as you guys know i suggest just creating a legitimate noise gate filter and downward expander for your mic there's no reason to use the noise suppression within discord if you just set up a proper noise gate filter for your microphone there are alternatives to this as well you have real-time noise suppression that can be installed as a filter and set up in equalizer apo you have the reaffer plugin that i did a video on recently i will link it in the description below as a whole this should always be off down under voice processing we have echo cancellation and noise reduction this is where things get a bit iffy echo cancellation and noise reduction generally creates like a warping effect on the vocals um, sometimes it can cause your your vocals to get robotic-y and staticky if you're using voice meter and that extra added processing on top of the already processing that's being applied through voice meter can cause some issues there these two should definitely be off at all times i don't find them necessary to turn on i don't really see a time where it is necessary uh, for these things as i said before just setting up proper filters for your mic is a much better way of going about this but a lot of people have issues in regards with you know like phone settings things like that you can turn on um, certain audio settings when you're using your phone with discord and i could see in some instances where this might be useful automatic gain control is really up to you this is going to try and gauge where your audio or where the volume of your microphone is going to hit so it'll either increase the volume for you or decrease the volume for you automatically quality service you want to enable this setting here if you want to have a higher priority for your discord services over the internet some some internet providers might have some issues with this or internet services might have issues with this that again this setting is going to be up to you generally having it off is probably Probably the way to go but if you are frequent a frequent user of discord i could see a case where you might want a higher priority for discord audio if you do a lot of calls or you know you have you do business that way um i could see where this could be beneficial Attenuation is actually going to be like a vocal ducking or a side chaining, except for it's something that you're going to hear yourself. It's going to lower the volume of other applications by the percentage that you set when someone is speaking. 
So you can have it attenuate other volume levels from other sources like your music or browser audio or game audio when other people speak or when you speak by the settings here. Generally, I would expect everyone to have the attenuation set to zero because that's kind of a strange thing to set up for yourself. But if you were interested in what this setting does, that's what it does. It will actually decrease the volume of other sources when someone else is speaking or when you are speaking, depending on the setting that you have. The audio subsystem, sometimes your devices will actually have compatibility issues with Discord. A lot of you guys run into this issue where there's a compatibility conflict regarding this device and Discord itself. You can just never seem to get it to work properly within Discord. What you can try doing is switching the audio subsystem over from standard to legacy or vice versa, um, and that might uh, clear up the conflict with the compatibility there. And the last section here is voice diagnostics. Don't really need to dive into this, really. Um, you have three settings here. One for showing a warning when audio is not being detected from your microphone. You have use the latest technology to capture your screen and use an experimental method to capture audio from applications. Overall, those are all the settings that you will run into with Discord. If you're having an issue with Discord after setting up voice meter equalizer APO, this is a good video to visit. Or if your friends are running into any issues or don't know what to set up within the Discord voice settings, uh, this video is a good video to reference. I also want to send you guys over to the Equalizer APO video that I recently did. Take a look at the new preset file that I have available within my Discord server. And also just take a look at how to set up all those audio settings to get your microphone sounding good. That's going to complete this tutorial, guys. I know it was a quick one. Don't worry. I'm going to be making it up to you guys. I am working on redoing the voice beater tutorial. So I wanted to knock out some quick videos in the meantime. So I had time or a little bit of wiggle room as far as working on those videos because they're going to be big ones and take a lot of time. If you guys have any questions after watching this video, you know where to go. My Discord server link is in the description below. If you like this video, do me a solid hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And if you're interested in funding this channel and my Discord server, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash the Francois. Again, thank you guys so much and I'll catch you next time. Peace.